Ik ben Zranawi, activist. En hoe je was? Levi. Echt? Levi. I'm traveling around the world documenting activists and non-profits. Oké. So what? And, and you're... And you're who are you? You're Israeli? You're Jewish? You're... <laughs> yes, I'm Israeli. And why are you here? To... To raise my protest. We're about to walk into uh, Sheikh Jarrah uh, compound, the compound where the settlers took uh, the houses uh, from the Palestinian families. And this is where the police is estimated to, to try and, and uh, arrest us. They're already arrested at least nine people. The whole march is non-violent. We're not going to use violence uh, in, in any way. And uh, we're just walking. People will get arrested because the police have decided to try and crush this protest. And that's something that we're not willing to, to take, obviously without using any violence, violent measures. What's your name and, and tell me why you're here? Uh, my name is Rawi Nasser. I'm here because the settlers took my house on the 2nd of August 2009. Uh, it was very violent, the eviction. They beat me, they beat my sons, they beat my wife, they broke the doors. They are unhumans, they are anti-human, the Israeli police. Because my problem is not with the Jew. You can see a lot of uh, Jew people who came to support us. The problem is with the settlers. And where are you now? Um, now I'm living the tent. The Sheikh Jarrah after the police disallowed our march here while allowing the settlers march later today. Uh, there is uh, three and, uh, 350 people who started today, tried to get uh, here, 200 got here, uh, around 20 were arrested on the way and now we can see more people being arrested uh, around us. We call to our government of Israel to stop the settlement in all of the West Bank and in Sheikh Jarrah and East Jerusalem. We will not stop until the occupation ends. This is a non-violent demonstration. We are not using any violence. The only violence we have seen today is of the police against us. Trying to kill these demonstrations, uh, trying to make to leave the Palestinians here alone with the police, with the settlers who are attacking them every day, and they're trying to keep the peace activists out of here. Uh, there's injustice in this place, and I don't think it's uh, right, I don't think it's fair, I don't think it's what our country should do.
Um, so people are just here letting their voices be heard and pretty much randomly being selected by the police. They pick people out of the crowd and carry them off to unknown destinations. Uh, so far we know of approximately 27 people that have been arrested as we all saw here. Everybody on our side acted without any kind of a violence or any kind of provocation. Uh, the police decided to act uh, otherwise. Uh, we, of course, will stay here. Uh, we've been working with the families in Sheikh Jarrah since 2002. Uh, there's a, what we call in, in Jewish language a fa ve fa, a, a double standard here. Uh, families here are being evicted from their homes on the basis of pre-1948 land claims. No one's going to allow these families here to go back to the land that they lived in. Uh, they are all 1948 refugees who have homes in, in West Jerusalem, in Jaffa, and Haifa, and many other places. Especially because on Fridays, the holy time of the, you know, is, uh, the, the holy Sabbath search for us is just the time that some of these settlers come to uh, harass and harm the uh, Palestinians who are still in their homes or in tents on the sidewalk outside their homes. And that's why we started these demonstrations weekly. We're sitting on a volcano here, and if this blows, there's going to be a third intifada. And that's, nobody wants that. And so it's, I think it's also in the interest of the international community to uh, do what they can, to do more than they've done so far, to uh, put a stop to this. You can see that a lot of this thing is, is being run by young people who just, uh, that's what they do, Twitter and Facebook, all these things, and, uh, and, uh, and this stuff is on Facebook for sure. But this uh, struggle's really been uh, dominated by young people with young energy, uh, and that's a great hope for the future. Young people. Uh, these young people, yes, they are uh, uh, came to support us, and it's a big help for the Palestinian people. Thank you.